It's 2021 and all of these big corporations are busy trying to make their logos as minimalistic as possible. So I figured that uh, it would be a really good opportunity if Twitter changed their logo and made it just Sam Eagle on a white background. I think that would be really good. You guys read the title, you know what you're getting yourselves into. I don't have to explain myself. Now, a uh, quick disclaimer before uh, I get this list started. I am going to point out that I am serious when it comes to one-hit wonders. So when I rank these one-hit wonders, I literally mean artists that had one hit. Artists that had one song ever enter the ch the top 40 on the Billboard Hot 100. A lot of the bands that society has led themselves to believe are one-hit wonders are not actually one-hit wonders. A couple of examples are AHA, the band that's known for Take On Me. They have two top 40 hits. Uh, Rick Astley has not only multiple hits, but multiple number one hits, I think. So if there is a group that did not appear on this list, that you could have sworn was a one-hit wonder, chances are, you know, look up their chart history on Billboard or something, or on Wikipedia or something, chances are they had multiple um, top 40 hits. So, like I said, bands like AHA, Devo, uh, Rick Astley, uh, Vanilla Ice, those guys, they all had multiple hits. Without further ado, uh, let's get into a couple of um, honorable mentions that I will just mention uh, very quickly. Uh, one, uh, artists that just barely missed the list. Uh, you Keep Me Hanging On by Vanilla Fudge. It was their only um, top 40 hit that hit the charts in 1967. Um, Hot Smoke and Sassafras by The Bubble Puppy, released in 1968. It hit number 14 or something like that, and uh, it was their only top 40 hit. Liar by The Rollins Band, released in 1994, hit number 40, just made it on the charts in 1994. Frank Zappa's only top 40 hit, Valley Girl, released in 1982, featuring his daughter, Moon Unit Zappa. Uh, Sly Fox's 1985 hit, Let's Go All The Way, it was their only top 40 hit. Someday Someway by Marshall Crenshaw, very underrated new wave artist, this was his only top 40 hit which hit number 32 or something like that um, in 1982. BYOB by System of a Down, released in 2005. Uh, it was their only top 40 hit. Um, although they did have a lot of big rock hits, uh, this was their only song to ever cross over onto the Billboard singles chart. And Dreaming of You by Selena Quintanilla. Um, she probably would have had way more hits if uh, her career didn't come to the untimely, unfortunate end. But, um, you know, that that unfortunately happened, and uh, due to that, this uh, was her only top 40 hit in 1995. Without further ado, let's hit it. The top 50 greatest one-hit wonders of all time. Coming in at number 50 is Hot Child in the City by Nick Gilder. Uh, hit number one on the Billboard charts in 1978. Coming in at number 49, you may not think that they're one-hit wonders, but trust me, I did my research. This is their only top 40 hit uh, on the regular Billboard charts. Coming in at number 49, New World Man by Rush, hitting number 21 in 1982. Number 48, our first of many new wave one-hit wonders on this list, uh, Der Kamisnar, or how do you... Der Commissar? You know what I'm trying to say. By After the Fire, hit number 5 in 1982. Number 47 is Stacy's Mom by Fountains of Wayne, hit number 21 in 2003. 
Number 46 is Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang, hit number 36 in 1979, one of the first rap songs to ever find mainstream success in the U.S. Uh, number 45, probably the weirdest one-hit wonder of all time, uh, They're Coming to Take Me Away, Haha, -ha, by uh, Napoleon the Fourteenth. that song hit number 3 in 1966. Coming in at number 44, it is For What It's Worth by Buffalo Springfield, hitting number 7 in 1968. Making his way onto the list at number 43 is The Monster Mash by Bobby Pickett, hitting number 1 in 1962. Coming in at number 42, it's another new wave hit, Cars by Gary Newman, hit number 9 on the US Billboard charts in 1980. I should probably make a disclaimer and say that these are U.S. one-hit wonders. There's probably a lot of groups on here that had uh, more success, maybe in Europe or you know other places, um, you know. But um, we're we're talking about the U.S. charts here, um, not anything else uh, global. Coming in at number 41 is Venus by Shocking Blue, hitting number one on the Billboard charts in 1970. Coming in at number 40 is Layla by Derek and the Dominoes, Eric Clapton, uh, hitting number 10 in 1971. Coming in at number 39, it is Inagata De Vida by Iron Butterfly, hitting number 30 in 1968. Coming in at number 38, the school shooter anthem, Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People, hitting number 3 in 2011. Coming in at number 37, it's Blue Daba D by Eiffel 65, hitting number 6 in 1998. Coming in at number 36 is Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum, hitting number 3 in 1969. Coming in at number 35, I'm sorry to uh, frustrate all the Australians out there, but in America, this was their only hit. At number 35, it's Beds Are Burning by Midnight Oil, hitting number 17 in 1988. Coming in at number 34 is R&B singer Bobby McFerrin with Don't Worry, Be Happy. The song would hit number one in 1988. At number 33, we have uh, one of the biggest novelty songs ever written, uh, Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas, hitting number one in 1974. At number 32, we have Cotton Eye Joe by Rednecks, one of the most recognizable one-hit wonders of all time. Uh, that would hit number 25 in 1995. Coming in at number 31, one of the biggest disco one-hit wonders of all time, Van McCoy, The Hustle, hitting number one in 1975. Another one-hit wonder from 1975 comes in at number 30, Magic by Pilot, hitting number four. Nope. Oh. I'm wrong, hitting number 5 in 1975. Number 29, a band that so desperately deserves to have more than one hit. Queensryche with Silent Lucicity hitting number 9 in 1990. It is a crying shame they didn't have more hits. Coming in at number 28, Love Hurts by Nazareth. That song would hit number 8 in 1975. 1975 was a big year for One Hit Wonders. Coming in at number 27, Video Killed the Radio Star by The Buggles, hitting number 40 in 1980. Coming in at number 26, one of the weirdest one-hit wonders of the 1970s, In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry, hitting number 3 in 1970. Number 25, we have Just a Friend by Biz Markie, hitting number 9 in 1990. At number 24, we have Soft Cell, Tainted Love hitting number 8 in 1982. Coming in at number 23, one of the most underrated songs off of one of the most underrated albums of all time, Fooled Around and Fell in Love by Elvin Bishop. That song would hit number 3 in 1975. Coming in at number 22, one of the more forgotten one-hit wonders of the 1990s, Love is on the Way by Saigon Kick hitting number 13 in 1993. Number 21, another band that probably deserved to uh, have way more than one song uh, chart in the top 40. Uh, coming in at number 21, DOA by Blood Rock. That song would hit 36 in 1970. At number 20, we have Genius of Love by the Tom Tom Club, a project uh, put together by David Byrne, the lead singer of the Talking Heads, and uh, 
their biggest single would hit um, number 31 in 1981. Coming in at number 19, another new wave hit, Putting on the Ritz by Taco, hitting number 4 in 1983. Coming in at number 18, Grooves in the Heart by D. Light, hitting number 4 in 1990. Number 17, the band that makes Rage Against the Machine look like the Carpenters, Chumbawamba with Tub Thumping. That song would hit number 6 in 1997. Coming in at number 16, one of the first new wave hits of all time, Pop Music by M, hitting number 1 in 1979. This would be uh, one of the songs that would help jumpstart the new wave movement into uh, the mainstream music media in the late 70s and early 80s. Coming in at number 15, we have She Blinded Me With Science by Thomas Dolby. That song would hit number 5 in 1982. Coming in at number 14, one of the most underrated one-hit wonders of the 1980s, Tarzan Boy by Baltimore, hitting number 13 in 1986. Coming in at number 13, another 80s one-hit wonder, Turning Japanese by The Vapors. That song would hit number 36 in 1980. Coming in at number 12, an artist that probably should have had more than one hit, Hit 'em Up Style by Blue Cantrell. Her biggest single would hit number 2 in 2001. Coming in at number 11, one of the most recognizable one-hit wonders of all time, Who Let the Dogs Out by The Baja Man. Men. Uh... That song would just squeeze its way into the top 40, um, peaking at number 40 in 2000. Coming in at number 10, a fan favorite for Catholic women ages 60 and older, You Light Up My Life by Debbie Boone, hitting number 1 in 1977. Coming in at number 9, we have Turn the Beat Around by Vicki Sue Robinson, hitting number 10 in 1975. Coming in at number 8, one of the most undeserving one-hit wonders of all time, Turn Up the Radio by Autograph. This song would hit number 29 in 1985. At number 7 on the list, a band that shockingly only had one hit to their name, Touch of Grey by The Grateful Dead. That song would hit number 9 in 1987. At number six, we have Mickey by Tony Basil. The song would hit number one in 1982. We made it all the way down to the top five. Coming in at number five, we have No Rain by Blind Melon. The song would hit number 20 in 1993. Coming in at number four, a band that definitely deserved to have more than one hit. It's a shame that this is all they stand for. My Sharona by The Knack, hitting number one in 1979. Coming in all the way at number three, they have uh, thoroughly uh, cemented themselves as one of the biggest one-hit wonders of all time. Somebody That I Used to Know by Gautier, hitting number one in 2012. Coming in at number two, one of the most recognizable songs of all time, The Last Saving Grace of the Disco Era. Funky Town by Lip Sync, hitting number one in 1980. And this whole list has come down to this. The number one biggest one-hit wonder of all time. Come On Eileen by Dexy's Midnight Runners. The song would peak at number one in 1983, and it has cemented itself as one of the biggest songs in... American culture, history, I don't think that there is a single person that does not know this song that is over the age of 15. And I feel like it'll stay that way for a while. All right, that is the list. Um, if there's something that you think I was missing, or uh, you know, you think that uh, you could do better if you just, if you aren't happy with the list, um, suck it.